This is Jeremy Rosen, ready to start breaking down the 2016 Wimbledon men's final between Andy Murray and Milos Raonic. In the previous series, I introduced the concept of causal inference, or determining why relationships in the data are the way they are. In this video, I demonstrate why causal inference is so important by analyzing the tactic of approaching the net. Quick aside, strategy and tactic are not interchangeable. A strategy is a general plan, something like coming into net whenever possible, whereas a tactic is a specific way to achieve that strategy, like hitting approach shots off short balls. The goal for any player is to choose winning tactics. And statistically, players often have a higher win probability when approaching the net than when staying back at the baseline. But this does not necessarily mean they should approach more often. Just because you have a higher win probability at net doesn't mean that coming into net is causing you to win more often. The reason is you often approach the net when you get a short, easy ball. So if this is my opponent, and this is me, I'm much more likely to approach the net if I get a ball that lands somewhere around here. So getting that short, easy ball can cause you to come in, but it can also cause you to win independently of coming in. For example, say you play six points. You come in on three, and you win two of those three. You also stay back on three, and you lose two of those three. But of the ones you came in on, you would have still won two out of three staying back. And had you come in on the point that you won when staying back, maybe you were just rallying from here, and just decided to come in, you would have gotten past and lost. So off to the Wimbledon final. My sample is rally shots, so no serves and no returns, for which neither player is at net. As expected, both Murray and Raonic had higher win probabilities, that is, did they ultimately win the point, when they approached the net, than when they stayed back. Murray's win probability was about 35% higher when approaching, and Raonic's was about 23% higher. But was that because approaching the net was a good tactic, or because they were approaching on balls that were easy to begin with? To find the answer, I analyze whether approaching the net affects the odds of ultimately winning the point, and I include three control variables. The first one is the depth of the incoming ball. So a ball is short, if it lands anywhere inside the service line. The second one is the location of the incoming ball. It's centered if it lands anywhere in the middle third of the court. And the last one is whether the incoming ball is defensive or something, where if you get it, it's just easy to tee off on. Players are more likely to approach on short, centered, and defensive incoming balls, but they're also more likely to win on those balls, whether they approach or not. Ultimately, I find that both approaching the net and the characteristics of the incoming ball affect the win probability. When adding the control variables, both players still have higher win probabilities when approaching. However, only about two-thirds of the higher win probability is the result of approaching. The other one-third is due to the incoming ball. And with the controls, approaching's effect on the win probability is no longer statistically significant. Having said that, in this match at least, assuming I controlled for everything that matters, both players were better off when approaching. Therefore, I believe approaching was a good tactic for them. However, there can easily be matches in which adding the controls will reverse the correlation in the data. So without the controls, there's a positive correlation between approaching and winning the point. So approaching means you're more likely to win the point. 
but with them, the correlation becomes negative. So approaching means you're less likely to win the point. In other words, despite a higher win probability at net, the players would be approaching too often. In the next video, I will perform a similar analysis, but instead of approaching the net, I'll look at hitting down the middle.